Hey, what's up, YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Now, what inverter should you get? That is the question. Um, there's two of them. There's a modified and pure sine wave inverter. Um, easy way to tell that is this right here. Sorry, I'll have a little diagram on a computer. I got it on paper. This is a pure sine wave. This is how it, it would look on the uh, oscilloscope. Um, basically, the uh, electrical current would look like this. This would be positive, that would be negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. That's how it would look. But on the modified side, or on a modified sine wave, it would be a more square type. And now that is fine for most. Um, for most things, but there are a few things that you do not want to run a modified sine wave off of. Um, a few things that you do not want to run off is a laptop. I know a lot of people do that, but that will kill electronics inside your laptop. I'm telling you, it will. It's not made for this square, this much roughness of a, a sine wave. It's made for a pure sine wave. Now, this is what your um, uh, uh, this is what your um power company gives you. It gives you a nice smooth transaction. All right, when you interrupt it and put it like that, some appliances or electrical items might not work off of that. Um, a few things that won't run off of it is uh like a hu uh, uh air humidifier, uh digital cameras, um uh induction uh plate, stove top, well, those things will not run off of a modified sine wave. You gotta have a pair of sine wave. Now the difference between the two really price wise is uh 50%. <laughs> so um basically if you want a sixteen hundred watt inverter you're gonna pay fifty percent more for a pure sine wave than you are for a modified. Now it might seem like a lot and it is but um, you're basically good uh, powering anything you want with a pure sine wave. You power anything your heart desires, it will not hurt anything. Now, modified, yeah, you got about 70% chance of that thing working uh, perfectly fine. Some things more prone than others, like refrigerators don't like this. Um, because modified sine waves are a little bit cheaper built. And um, DC motors and stuff like refrigerators, they just don't like the modified sine wave. They want a nice, smooth um, uh, sine wave. So, um, with that being said, you want to get a pure sine wave at all costs. Um, now, don't get me wrong, modified sine wave isn't bad. It's just not great for all things um really expensive items are normally the ones that need a pure sine wave so if you run a modified you might damage that uh, expensive appliance or whatever it is and uh you'll have to pay for that and then get a pure sine wave to run it off of that so you're better off just buying a pure sine wave now that's why i haven't gotten an inverter yet um i'm trying to save up some money for my solar generator or solar panels so I could uh, run my refrigerator in case of an emergency. Now you want this kilowatt meter because it tells you exactly what you want. If you don't have this kilowatt meter, now you could do something that um, people do all the time. Normally it's about a, a, like a DC motor, normally, normally about three to four times uh, the amount of current is to start up, to start up uh, current. And that's a peak current. Now, um, right now I only got 1170 out of this. But before, I got 1600. So it's best to use a kilowatt meter like this instead of just hooking up like an amp meter or something. Because this can register for uh, a week, a month, or however long. And it could tell you the peak watts. And that's a all right, so I had it on for 12 hours, and as you can tell, it did get a little bit higher reading on the watts. I got a 1378, which is about 1400 watts. 
Like I said, though, before I had this uh, plugged in for like uh, two or three days and I did hit a uh, peak of 1600 watts. That's why it's important to get one of these and to let it run for a few day, few days so you know on um, how much uh, watt peak it will take so you know what inverter or what size inverter to get. I'll know in that you're in risk of damaging something whether it be the appliance or the inverter so my best thing is to tell you guys to get a kilowatt meter or a dc meter whichever one you're meet, uh, uh, measuring and measure everything that you need to know about that appliance without knowing you're going blind and that could be um bad for whatever reason um what else is there anything else uh that you need to know i think that's about it so if you guys got any questions ask me um subscribe check out my channel and uh i'll see you guys later all right